We are back here again at Underground at Home. So today we are doing a triple set. So we're gonna have three stations. Uh, we're gonna do each station four rounds. So the first one here is gonna be pistol squat. I'm gonna give you a different variations here, okay? So the first one here, go right down. And we're gonna go up by two, okay? So down one, up by two, okay? If that's uh, a little bit easy for you guys, you can go here and then come up with one as well. Drop to the other side, come up with one. Okay, so that's your pistol squat. Now, I'm gonna give you another alternative, okay? Last variety here. So, uh, if you guys are strong and you have good mobility, you, you'll be able to do it here, right down. Exhale as you come up, okay? You can swap it over as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm thinking about my big toe and my heel, okay? To have that good uh, spread of the weight in my feet. Right, so the next one's gonna be jump squats. So we're gonna need our cowbell here. Just a little bit of a weight. So right here, jump squats, right down, okay? All the way. Now if you're going for gold, guys, we are going over here. Cradle position, nice and low. Be deep squat, right down. We can bring it up here, okay? For a little bit more intensity. Okay, so the last one would be your close grip push-ups before the rest. So close grip, this here. A bit closer than you as well, more triceps. Or the back of your arms. They can do that kneeling, right down. And then straight after that you get your rest, and you go back again to your pistol squat, okay? Do that four times, and we're gonna move on to your second station. So in your second station, we got a lunge. It's right here, and in rotation. If the kettlebell is too heavy, just drop the kettlebell and go into your body weight. Lunge and rotate, okay? Now the next one here is gonna be skull crushers. So we, we're gonna go in half kneeling position, right here. Elbows towards the ceiling, all the way up. That's really tough. You can just go for a press, okay? But close for more triceps, okay? And the next one, guys, is gonna be weight crunch races. So you're gonna need the weight here, kettlebell. You're gonna come up, you can leave it there if you're strong enough to hold it. Now make sure you get your head through for this. Head through, okay? All the way up. And the last one here, oh, that's your last one actually. You go into a rest, four stations, go back to the lunge and rotate, right? So the next one's gonna be push-ups. This is on the fourth station, on the third station now. I'm gonna go wider push-ups, just the regular, all the way. So the difference there, guys, is a close grip. It's more triceps and less uh, shoulders. Uh, sorry, less uh, chest. But going over here, it's gonna be an even spread for your chest, triceps, and shoulders. Okay, and go kneeling on that one as well. Next one's gonna be the clean and press. So you're gonna have the kettlebell. Quick one here. Two seconds. So, you're gonna have the kettlebell here, and you're gonna go in for a press. So you're gonna clean it first into a press, okay? So after the push-ups, clean and press, and then back on the mat again for your last one, which is the hollow hold. Point the toes, looking like a banana. Now, if you feel that on the lower back, guys, go up a little bit, that's okay. You feel this after a few seconds, and you work your way down as soon as you get better. Right here, okay? So that's pretty much it, guys. We're gonna move on to your warm up and we'll get this party started. Let's go. Right, guys, so we'll get started with a warm up. So we're gonna start with your uh, calves over here and a little bit on the ankles, okay? Because we, uh, we have squats here, a little bit advanced in that one. So, half kneeling position, put your arms here. And just driving the knee forward, make sure you can feel that here already. Bring your heels to the ground, right back. Back. Give it a hold there. Last one. And switch to the other side. Just warming up. A few holds. Right there. And 
then one now straight after that guys we're gonna go here okay we're gonna do some hip circles three two and one and we're gonna switch to the other side okay so what it looks like on this side three two and one and next one here is gonna be external rotation for your shoulders right here one arm behind you right to the opposite elbow come up Switch to the other side. Right up. And one, okay. Next one here is just gonna be a cat cow. Breathe as you come up. Last one here, core activation, opposite arm. Drive that elbow to the opposite knee. Two, and one, switch to the other side. Point your toes. Two, and one. Perfect guys, so that's your warm up, and we're gonna hit the road now. We're your triple set. It's gonna be a long, long one. We'll go up to 36 minutes. All right, let's go. All right guys, so we're gonna get started now. So the, remember the first one's gonna be pistol squat, into the jump squat, and then the close grip push-ups. 10 seconds. And remember you have three variations, okay? So get them going, okay, so you're gonna move the chair. Come up, switch to the other side. Okay. And the next variation here, just here. You don't need a chair if you can. Come up. Switch to the other side. That's a tough variation, guys. Yes, yeah, so only if you're able to do it. You don't even need to try if you feel like you're not strong enough for it. Okay, so start with this. Too easy. Go with the next one, and the last one will be that variation. Okay, onto our jump squat. Just here. Okay. Make sure you get that deep squat, guys. Okay. Right down. If that's too hard for you. Let the kettlebells dangle right here. Okay. Right down. Remember, we want to pass your kneecaps over here, okay? We're going to go deep. Right down, okay? Keep going. 15 seconds. And we're going to go into your close grip push-ups. Remember the difference here in the close grip push-ups? We want to be here, close. Three, two, and one, close. If you want to go kneeling, no problem. Just make sure you're going over your wrists. Just there. Right down, 25 seconds. And you get your rest. Almost there, 20 seconds. Keep the breathing flowing. Inhale down, breathe out as you come up. Right, 10 seconds, right down. Now grab a pen here. Time guys, okay, so first round done. Just marking so you won't get lost. So you get your break now. 30 seconds. Gonna go back with your pistol squats. Remember the choice in the pistol squat, guys, okay? 20 seconds.
Five seconds straight. Two. One time, let's go. Hips back. Okay, too hard. Go down with one and come up with two. No problem. Okay, work your way down, guys, or work your way up, I mean. Okay, so work your way up. It's a skill, okay? Pistol squat is a big skill movement. 15 seconds. You're gonna move on to your jump squats. Now, same with the jump squats, you don't need weight. If you find it really tough on the knees and the impact is killing it. I'll give you an example now, okay? So, we're gonna go into my body weight jump squats. So, I'm gonna go down here, come up. Slowly, you don't need to go too high. But then again, if you improve on that one, find it too easy, come up here. Right down. Okay? Drive in the heels. Breathe out as you come up. Really easy to forget the breathing, okay? So breathe in down. Give me that deep squat. And then come up. Right? Deep breath. And onto our close grip push ups. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Close grip. Chest here is fine. And more triceps again. Slowly down. Come up. Chest to the ground, folks. Keep me going. 30 seconds. Inhale down, breathe as you come up. Think about pushing yourself against the ground. Right there, keep the elbows close to the body, okay? So if you're close grip here, we don't want our elbows there, okay? We want it close to the rib cage. 10 seconds. Eight seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, on time. Yeah, I'm gonna mark that there. Got two more of those. Yep. Two more rounds again, so if you need to adjust on anything, adjust it. Like the pistol squat, if you want to go in, go on the ground, go for it. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Get yourself ready, hips back. Two, and one. Good drop of music there. Swapping eight each time. Slowly down, half come up. Remember, you can go on the ground if you can, guys, okay? You want to show off those skills. <laughs> 20 seconds. It's a tough one. Pistol squat is a tough one. Okay, you're going to need that balance, coordination. 10 seconds. And above all, the strength on one leg at a time. Five seconds, folks. Four, three, two, and one. Like I said, if you want gold, bring it up here and get that gold. Make sure you hold it properly, okay? So one thing I've noticed before is coaching someone, jump squat has the cowbell here, and if it's loose, the handle will go up here, okay? So make sure you have that there, okay? So when you're coming up, just like that, okay? So it's not gonna blow up in your face. 15 seconds, folks. Gonna go in your close grip push-ups. Nice and deep in those. Five, four, three, two, and time onto your close grip. Bring it down. Okay, and you can go kneeling, but keep your hips high. Chest nice and low. But this is not a push-up, guys, yeah, right here. Okay, make sure you're actually going down and coming up. 
right? 25 seconds. We're gonna have a rest in that one. Keep going. 15 seconds. Work on your push-ups. It's a great upper body strength exercise. Three, two, and time. Well done, folks. Now, if you wanna, if you're serious about getting your push-ups better, push-ups better, right? So what you can do is really slowly down and come up. Okay, so you can even start leaning on a chair like this. Or countertop table. And then just move your push-ups. 20 seconds. Got here. Got one more and we're gonna move on. seconds. Eight seconds. Big deep breath into the nose, out to the mouth. Let's go. Pure pistol squat coming down without the help of the chair. 10 seconds. And then move into your jump squats. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Drop it down all the way down and come up. All the way down. The landing is essential here, okay? So the landing is good. It shouldn't be making impact. Right down. So think about, I'll give you a raw egg, right? I'll throw it to you. You're not just gonna let it land over here and smash it to pieces. So if you throw it there, you're gonna absorb the force. And it's the same way with the knees, okay? So when you come up with the knees here, okay? You don't wanna stand tall and absorb the force there. 10 seconds, eight seconds. Now guys, if you're unsure with the form, okay, so, Take a video of your form, send it to Patty, okay, and we'll get a check. Let's go into your close grip push-ups. Right here. All the way down. Slowly down. Fast up. Push yourself against the ground. 25 seconds. Keep it going. 20 seconds and you get your rest. 15 seconds. And that's gonna be first station done. Five seconds, four. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Right, so the next one here is gonna be the second station. Take your break. We get three exercises here. First one's gonna be lunge and rotate. Right here. Come back in. Right down. Okay, you can have the weight with you as well. And the next one's gonna be a skull crusher. Right here. So triceps there, guys. And the next one's gonna be weight crunches and raises here. Okay, so. Right up. Okay? Let's go lunge and rotate. Remember you can have the kettlebell with you. Okay? That's the goal there. Keep it going. Big breath, big breath. All the way, keep rotating. That's what you need, okay? Rotate, rotate. 15 seconds. And I'm gonna go into your skull crushers. That's gonna be for your triceps. Or the back of your arms. Just here. 
Three seconds. Two. And one. Remember guys, if it's getting too hard, okay, just here. We'll press. Elbows close to the ears. And don't forget to breathe, okay? Really easy to just forget it. Inhale down, breathe out as you as you plummet that kettlebell right up towards the ceiling. Ten seconds, keep it going. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one over here. Okay? Make sure you get the momentum from the arms first. Come up, head through, okay? Again, a lot of shoulders today, okay? And triceps to this press is there as well. But if that's too hard, guys, or you can't even get up over here, you can put your feet like here on the cowbell. See my cowbell there? Just there, okay? And get it come up, right? So throw yourselves into it first. That's your regression, okay? Squeeze the kettlebell with both feet. I'm gonna take that there. First round done. Good stuff, folks. Okay, 25 seconds. Gonna get back in your lunge and rotate. Again, for me, the weight is not essential there if you're feeling any tightness in your lumbar, okay? But obviously, if, you, if you're strong enough for it, go for it. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's get lunging. Right down and rotate. Okay? Keep going. Again, you can lunge here. Come up. It's gonna look like this from this angle. Come up and rotate. Okay? Rotate, rotate, breathe out. On the other side as well. 20 seconds. And seconds. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time onto your crushers here. Just like that. Now, the purpose of this knee here is to protect my lower back, okay? So we don't want to lean back, get hips here tucked. close to the ears as much as you can. Keep it going. 20 seconds, less than 20 seconds. If that's getting really tough, guys, onto your presses, okay? 10 seconds, and into our crunches. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Keep going, you got 30 seconds there. Big breath, big breath. Again, if it's getting really tough or you can't go up at all with a weight because you have a heavy weight, squeeze it here, come up. Arms are straight. So you're getting a resistance from the arms basically. Eight seconds. Three seconds, two, and one. Whoop. You got two more of those guys, you got two more. Thirty seconds. Get a break. 
behind one. Come up. All the way. Right there, guys. You got 30 seconds, okay? So if you don't, if you're not capable of the kettlebell anymore, you're tired, drop the kettlebell, okay? Just for safety. And then do it without the weight, right? 20 seconds, you just grab something else that's a little bit lighter than, uh, than the kettlebell that you, do, you have at the moment. 10 seconds. Three seconds, folks. Two. And one. Deadly. Why? Ticked over. Last station. So, regular push ups, okay? Okay, just regular push ups. Our next one is gonna be clean and press. So, you're gonna need a kettlebell here. Come up, clean it, and press it. Right down, clean it, press it. Okay, so that's straight after push ups. And the last one's gonna be hollow holds. Right there, okay? Seconds. In for the party. Three seconds. Two and one. Finish strong. Keep going. Right down. Deep, deep breath. Inhale down. Breathe out. Let's go. Right down, 25 seconds. Get those push-ups going. On to our last station. 20 seconds, big deep breath. Push yourself against the ground. And remember, index finger forward. We don't want to be here. Right down. 10 seconds. Go to your clean and press. Let's go. Clean it and press it. Lean it, bah. press, right down to the ground. Right there, okay? You wanna use a little bit of legs, go for it. A little bit of momentum when you press up, okay? The arms are burning now. What these seconds, folks. I need to do a hollow hold. 10 seconds. Three seconds. Two. And one, hollows. Now remember what I said. If you're too low and you can feel your lower back come up. Okay? Also, if you have a bad neck, if you don't want to tuck in your chin like this, and you feel that already, Put your head down, but keep your legs over here. Okay, because if you're here, you're gonna stretch your lower back without lifting your neck. 20 seconds, you're gonna get your rest. Ten seconds, folks. Gotta take it over. Three, two, on time. Okay, 45 seconds. Rest. Back again, your push ups after this. Remember, you can go kneeling on this, okay? Go kneeling in the push ups if it's really hard. 30 seconds. Get your water, sip on it. Wipe your tears with a towel. 20 seconds. Now bang on those push ups again. Ten seconds. Five seconds. I change the angle. I'll show you so you guys can see me. Ah, right, push-ups. Go kneeling. Finish your set. Big breath, big breath. 
25 seconds, and we're gonna get ourselves ready for clean and press. Let me know what you think of the, the playlist. If you prefer, prefer it this way, you prefer it quiet, so you can play your own music, let me know. 10 seconds, comment section below. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. We'll do a clean and press again. Clean it, bam, press it. Touch the ground. Get the head through on those presses. What I mean by that is here. Head through, okay? Don't just hold it back. Twenty-five seconds. Twenty seconds. Almost there. I'm going to go into your hollow holds, okay? Make sure you don't have any gap here guys, okay? So if you have a curve there and you're doing your hollow hold, that's not a hollow hold, okay? So that's breaking your back. So make sure you get tucked in the hip. Make sure your back is flat as much as you can. Point the toes right here, okay? Point the toes the other way around, okay? So we don't want it pointing towards here. Keep, keep going, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Big breath, big breath. Five seconds, two, and one, folks. We got last two. Two more, so back with the push-ups. Clean and press. seconds. Bang on those push-ups. Ten seconds. Long break, eh? Five seconds. You got last two more, two rounds. Okay, save your energy. I'm full blast with these push-ups. Let's go. Ah. Oh no. No half repping in those push-ups, guys. Nice and deep. 25 seconds. Get yourselves ready for clean and press. Last 10. It's like a deadlift or an RDL combined with right here. We gotta press. And right down. Bam. Keep going. 25 seconds and get yourselves ready for a hollow hold. Fifteen. into a hollow hold. Three seconds. Two. On time. Hollow hold here. seconds. Hold it, hold it, hold it. If that's getting really tough, guys, go up with your legs, okay? Bring it up over here as high as you can if you want. So get a little bit, get the tension out of your lower back. Eight seconds. I 
on time. We got one more set. One more, got one more. Seconds. Push ups. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice and deep, and bring it on to your clean and press. Fifteen seconds, folks. Five seconds. Let's go. Clean it, press it, right there, okay? I stop you, Doug, let's go. Keep you going, 30 seconds. 25 seconds, folks. Last 20, and we're gonna go into your hollow holds. Fifteen seconds. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Into your hollow holds. This is it. Last one. Hands here close to the ears. You're shaking, it's all in your head, yeah, just keep going. 20 seconds. Last 10. I gotta go into your cool down. Alright guys, so we're gonna go into your cool down. Okay, just a few stretches. Okay, so you're not gonna be in pain uh, tomorrow or the next couple days, right? Right guys, so we're gonna go into your cool down now. So right here, we're gonna start with your cobra. We're gonna stretch those lower back on your core. So right here. You guys, your shoulders over the wrists. Big stretch. You gotta make sure you can feel your abs there as well. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. We're gonna go in here to your downward dog. Eight, seven. Make sure your hips are towards the ceiling. Get your chin tucked. Four, three, two, and one. Next one is gonna be your pigeon. Right here, keep the chest high. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax the lower back. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Arms are straight. Switch to the other side. Big kick behind you. Drive the knee forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna bring that down. Okay, so we're gonna do some hip rotations here for your lumbar as well. So bring the knees a lot higher here. Back is flat. Anchor yourself on the ground and slowly rotating. Switch to the other side. Right here. Nice and slow. Now, if you feel any tightness here, okay? So I mean, you don't want to go down all the way. You can just bring it down and then come back up again as soon as you feel that stretch. Two and one. Now I'm going to bring it here to your knee hugs, okay? So right here, 
Point the toes the other way around. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Unwind, switch to the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Unwind. I'm going to cross our legs this time. I'm going to stretch our glutes. Okay, so grabbing the back of my knee. I'm up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Unwind, switch to the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Our last one here is we're gonna get our back flat and come up, hold it for 10, nine, eight. Relax the breathing into the nose, out to the mouth. Relax, four, three, two, and one. Slowly down. Now do that one more time. Back is flat. All the way up, relax the breathing. Into the nose, out to the mouth. Last one. Deep breath, out to the mouth. Perfect guys, so uh, that's it. That's your uh, triple set. Good work everybody. That is not how you do in that one. It's a long one, okay, but uh, we got through. Good work.